Here's the problem. The U.S. government issues a limited number of temporary work visas every year. They're about to announce the cap for this year. And the result is that many of the world's best and brightest tech minds can't get into the U.S. to start the next Google or Apple. Well, get this as the workaround. Put a ship off the California coast and fill it with hundreds and hundreds of the top minds, foreign-born entrepreneurs, and turn them loose to create startups. Dario Mutabgia is one of the two Silicon Valley entrepreneurs trying to make this happen. It's called Blue Seed. Dario, how did this idea first pop into your head? Thank you for inviting me. Well, this idea is a merger of my personal background and my co-founder's personal background and our professional background. We realize that there is a huge problem uh, in Silicon Valley as far as the startups are concerned, which are led by foreign co-founders. I'm an immigrant myself. My co-founder is the descendant of, of immigrants. So we have seen in this on a personal level how awesome it, it is to come to a place where opportunities are much, much better, and Silicon Valley is one of those best places. However, myself and my co-founder, uh, we're lucky, so to say. Yeah. We, we came here legally, we were able to stay, but that's not the case for many, many extremely talented and extremely bright people that could create uh, uh, numerous jobs and awesome new products and services. So we wanted to so solve that problem in the way we know uh, how to do it. We're entrepreneurs, we're in Silicon Valley, we're not politicians, so our solution is an entrepreneurial yeah. solution. It's a fanciful idea. I think it's fascinating. However, you've got to deal with politicians to be sure it's allowed. Now, it's going to be in international waters. Any response from the U.S. government as to whether they would give you a thumbs up or thumbs down on this? Absolutely. We will have to deal with the U.S. government in many different ways. We will actually have to establish partnerships with numerous agencies from a Coast Guard, Homeland Security, etc. So you are absolutely correct in that sense. We have approached uh, uh, certain government agencies. However, for some of them, this is still too early of a stage for them to give us mm. a, an official uh, go ahead. But as far as, as, as we can tell, uh, response so far has not been negative and uh, exactly what we're working on, I think, is a positive for the United States yeah. because our goal is to create jobs and create new sources of revenues. So I think it's, uh, it's up to us uh, to uh, properly position this with the U.S. Sure. government. And I think because primarily what we are trying to do, I don't think it should be a, a big problem. Dario, give me a sense of the demand for this. How many people have signed up or at least told you it's a great idea and they want to be part of it? Over 360 startups from 66 different countries around the world expressed the desire to be on our ship. I think it's safe to say that the demand is not going to be a problem for us. Very exciting. I can't wait to see what happens. Uh, Dario Mutabshia, the, the ship is called Blue Seed. Good luck to you. Thank you very much.